Hi, thanks for tuning in to Capital Dish. I'm Scott, your host, and remember, I'm a real guy in a real place cooking real food. And today, I have a very special treat for you. I wanted to go on vacation, but I couldn't. So I decided to call some friends of mine that have a famous French restaurant. And I'm going to take you, yes you, to the south of France with me without ever leaving your home today. So what we're going to do is I have Karen Cooley and Hello. Eric Favier. Hello. They own one of the most famous and well-respected restaurants in the capital city of Florida, Tallahassee. And it's called Chez Pierre. And you have won several awards. And the latest is the Golden Spoon? Yes, from Florida Trim. Ooh, bravo, bravo, Thank you. bravo. Thank you. Um, and also today, we are going to be making a asparagus salad with a vinaigrette dressing. We're going to be making Coquille Saint Jacques. We are going to be making uh, French pastry tarts, just like you're walking down the Champs Elysees. Right. And you're going to look in the, the boulangerie window, and there is a pastry tart there. We're going to be making that. And we're going to be making a sorbet taurine. Hopefully, we have time for all this. But first off, remember, we are giving away some wonderful prizes uh, from some of our sponsors. We have the flowers from Esposito's, and if you go to Scott at Capital Dish and say, I want to win flowers because somebody did last week and they love them, they are going to be able to win the flowers. And we also have from Great Chefs some great kitchen toys, and this is a kitchen calculator. Now, if you're a great baker or a beginner baker, or if you just have trouble doing the measurements, this is going to be a wonderful gadget for you because you know I'm all about the gadgets. And go to Scott at Capital Dish and say, I want to win the gadget. And someone will win that too. So I'm going to put this away. Yeah, that helps a lot. That. Will this help a lot? Oh, yeah, that is, I love it. Great, great. And Great Chefs is the best prices in town, mm -hmm. I, can, I can't Absolutely. tell you. So I'm going to put this away. Now, Karen has been working. I've been setting up for today's show. And Karen has been doing, she's not telling me what she's doing, but I know it comes from Anheuser Busch. So I'm going to take it away. Okay. Well, what's really neat about this is this is a wonderful summer drink. It'll make you feel like you could be in Provence in the south of France. Somewhere. I like that. The French use a lot of apple flavors. Mm. This is the Bacardi Silver. It's a low-carb drink. It's green apple. It's absolutely wonderful. What's so neat about this is that not only is it low-carb, but it's low alcohol. So you could have one or two of those before dinner time. Oh, it smells like It's not like too apple. much alcohol, and it's just really nice and light and refreshing. Now, what's that you just what put I'm in there? What I'm doing here is I've added the Bacardi Silver first. Then I add just a little dash of apple juice. We like that. I'm going to shake this up oh, in the martini shaker. Look at that. Look at that. Give it a nice little shake here. Oh, thank you. There we go. And then I'm going to pour it over a little bit oh, of ice. We should have had the strainer into the there. martini glass. I'll do this right here. This will work perfectly. That's and then it's garnished with caramel Merci. and also with a slice of green apple. And I prepared the green apple ahead of time and just added a little bit of lemon juice so that it would stay nice and crisp for us. Now, is this, is this new? Because as you know, we've been. Um, showing some really new products from Anheuser Busch. It's the aluminum bottles. Is this something that they're new that they're doing? Anheuser Busch has come out with an incredible line of what they're calling beer tails and beer teenies, based on beer uh, cocktails a beer and teeny. martinis. It's a beer teeny. And cheers. Well, cheers. cheers. Yeah. Why do we say? How do we say cheers in uh, French? Sante. 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 And we're on our little vacation now. Mmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm. That go down that's here. really that good. Yeah. Wonderful. Nice, that refreshing drink. I hope I can order this out somewhere. Mm -hmm. well, mm. We serve them at Chez Pierre. Come join us on the terrace. Mm. Yeah. Are you going to buy me one? Absolutely. All right, I'm there. <laughs> okay, now we got a lot to do today, so we need to get started. We're going to come back you. and have these. So if you, you can drink yours for a second, but I'm going to put this little gentleman to work here, my little, oh, my little Frenchman. We are going to be doing a vinaigrette dressing. I'm going to start this boiling over here yep. because we're going to be blanching the vinaigrette. I mean, blanching the asparagus. And I do the vinaigrette. This French is getting oh, me all yeah. nervous. You know, I'm all about the Italian thing, and I got to, some French going on. You start to sound like Julia Child now. And you know who you sound like? <laughs> no, Jacques Pepe. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, okay. Now, tell me what you're doing here. Okay, we're going to do uh, vinaigrette. Very simple. I believe on... Uh, simple food. I don't want to mix too many flavors, especially for the summer that is light. It has a lot of flavor and strong aroma in your mouth. So we're going to start with a little bit of mustard, Dijon mustard, of course, and maybe one tablespoon, maybe one and a half, depending on how you like a strong 
your, uh, your seasoning. Then I put a little bit of dry tarragon. You see, very simple. What's that about, about? Is that about a quarter teaspoon? Yeah, just a dash, maybe a quarter teaspoon. And uh, tarragon has a licorice flavor that a lot of people don't like it uh, by, them, by himself. But when you put, when you integrate uh, with uh, other ingredients, people love it. So then a little bit of red wine vinegar. And that's it? Yeah, just a little bit is maybe a quarter spoon, half a spoon. Also the red wine vinegar, a lot of people go uh, balsamic vinegar and all this flavor, but balsamic vinegar has a sweetness that uh, sometimes it doesn't fit with everything. So, so what I do, I mix all that together. So it's very simple. Anybody can do that. A bit of pepper little bit of salt. And now is that going to be enough? Is there, if, like, the amount of asparagus oh. that we're going to be making? So well, do you need a little bit? No, because we're not, we don't have to blanch all these, but yeah. is that just for, you don't use a lot of this dressing because it's so rich? Exactly. And also now, the, the grand finale is very simple, and uh, what you do, you put water. Oh, there you go. Okay. And you thin down the mustard. Does he cook for you like this at home? Mm -hmm. I sure do. Does. He cooks for me all the time. And uh, what it is, I mean, it's ready in two seconds. You can do that at a minute when you have uh, some uh, people that just show up and they want to eat in your kitchen. Is, is this from your region? This is uh, uh, more from the Burgundy era where Dijon is. Uh, I think he said Burgundy. Burgundy. <laughs> I know. I'll, I'll, be I'll be your translator today. And you're from Provence? I'm from Alabama. Alabama? Yep. Alabama, France? The south of France. So we have an Alabama in France. Huh? So, <laughs> no, I'm from the south of France. Huh? Okay. And, uh, oh, okay. One All right, you're from Alabama. You know what we do with people from Alabama? What? We push them out of the way. Oh. No, no, I'm just kidding. We love Alabama. But that's the, that's the, that's that the dressing for the vinegar. Now we, the, the vinaigrette. Now we need to get the asparagus going. And I found some really fine, thin asparagus. They that's look really wonderful. Why are you laughing at me? Well... Okay, don't go there. <laughs> and to, to do the measurement of where to break this off is you just want to break it. And where oh. it breaks is that's where we, we will finally yeah. use the top part of the asparagus. So then I'm going to take the rest here and let's just, whoops, let's measure these out. Okay, I'm going to cut this asparagus off right here. Let's put this in the waste. And then Karen, you said that these need to be blanched. Uh -huh, for about two minutes, I think. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in. Let's turn right here. And we're going to blanch these. Okay, these have been cooking for two minutes, and I'm going to blanch these in some cold water and some ice and a colander in the sink. And when we come back, I'm going to have Eric start the French tarts, and I'm going to put Karen to work on the mandolin. Don't miss this segment. <laughs> 